Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. In this video, we're going to be working on this 2004 Infiniti G35. It belongs to a subscriber named Ken. Uh, he brought it by to just get preventive maintenance done. And we're also going to go ahead and do the rotors. The pads are actually brand new. He didn't have the rotors when uh, he had got the pads done, but the pads probably have less than 100 miles on them, so it's nothing major. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull the rotor off. Well, first we're going to pull the caliper off, pull the pads off, and then pull the rotor off, put the new rotor back on, and then put those pads back on. What I recommend usually is I recommend replacing the rotor and pads at the same time. That way they're both new and they can form their mating surfaces without any problems. So let's go ahead and uh, take off this caliper first. You're going to need a 14 millimeter socket or you can use a wrench. We're going to pull that off. We're also going to uh, use like a bungee cord or some kind of string to hang it right here so it doesn't have any stress on the brake line. And then you're also going to need a, uh, a brake caliper compressor. It compresses the piston. So when you're putting new uh, pads or new rotors in, this is going to be more pad life or more width pretty much. The piston has to decompress a little bit to allow you to slide it back on. Uh, what I use, usually use is this porta puller. It has a little scissor thing on it that just opens up and it'll compress that piston for us. Uh, this is a lot easier. It's a little bit more expensive to buy. It's like $200, but uh, it, gets me, it gets the job done a lot quicker and I use it on other things as well. So let's go and get started. First, you're gonna use a 14 millimeter socket and go ahead and put the two bolts for the caliper off. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. What you could also do if you don't want to take the caliper off, if you're not replacing the pads, uh, you can go ahead and just remove this whole assembly with the caliper carrier. So we're going to have to do that anyways. So since I'm not replacing the pads, I'm going to put these back on and just remove that whole assembly. If you are replacing the pads, you would take these off, pull the caliper off, just like I'm doing right here. Matter of fact, you know what? So there's the caliper. Let's go ahead and put something on here to hang it from. All right, now let's go ahead and remove these pads. Now we're going to go and remove this caliper carrier. That's going to be a size 22. There's the caliper carrier. Now you just pull this rotor off. Here's the new one. We're gonna go ahead and put the caliper carrier back on. Now let's go ahead and tighten the 22 millimeter bolts. Now they're tight, let's go ahead and put the pads back on. And just make sure you have the little uh, metal clip that goes in. Just like that. Then you can go ahead and grease the pads with some kind of brake grease. Uh, this already has it on there, so we're not going to have to worry about it. Now this is where you would want to compress the piston on the caliper. So here's the piston. You want to compress this so it goes further in here. That way you have more space to go in and get it over the brake pads. Now use the two 14 millimeter bolts and put it back on. All right, once all that's tight, 
go ahead and re-clean the rotor one more time because whatever dust or whatever the chemicals you got on there you want to get those off and you can just spin the rotor a little bit and clean it all up and once that's clean go ahead and do the other side because you want to do both uh, pairs at the same time so once that's done and if you're actually putting new rotors and new pads what you want to do is you want to bed the pads into the rotors uh, it shouldn't be that big of a deal if you're replacing both new rotors and new pads but just get your car up to like 50 55 miles per hour and slam on the brakes just enough for you to like you know put full contact on the brakes but the tires are not you know uh, skidding they're just they're still spinning and that way it'll put that little uh, the first the pad will go ahead and put a little bit of wear marks on the rotor and it'll bed into the rotor and that way this should just last longer and that's pretty much it for this DIY guys thanks for watching stay tuned for more preventive maintenance on this G35